Hey guys, let's dive into Cardano. Guys, Cardano is, out of all the coins, it is the number one coin that is doing nothing right now, which uh, some ways you look at this is actually almost a little more frightening because there is so much pressure building on ADE right now with long trades and short trades. I will show you guys Unfortunately, short trades are actually increasing a little bit. And I know, I know we've all been looking at ADA and, and uh, you guys look at our account, we're down about, let's just call this a flat 50%. Guys, we know people who literally got in back out here and you may be one of those people. So some people are over here sitting down about 72 plus percent. So we're, we're still doing great with our risk management strategy, but is this thing gonna go any lower? And I am gonna show you guys some actual, what they would call on-chain data of where transactions have been literally placed placed, not, not based off time or area, but actually on price structures to find support and resistances. And then we're going to go actually over the metrics where I'm going to show you guys the long to short trades, which isn't looking too good. So we're going to literally dive in. If you have money in ADA Cardano, you do not want to be missing this video. I've got quite a bit of money in here. So um, this is definitely a video that I will be, I wanted to do this myself. So you guys will join me. Currently sitting at 110 wins and zero losses on crypto. So we're, we're winning all of our trades. That's awesome. But sometimes guys, we just need to be patient in a downtrend and, and we need to wait. Can I start with this before we go any further? I know there's talks of World War III uh, interest rates increasing, um, talking about home home interest rates going up and the housing market not doing too well because people want to, you know, get in now as fast as they can before interest rates go up because their their mortgages are going to be higher if they go to a 15 or 30, 30 year. What's going to happen? Well, a lot of people are like, well, if this thing drops any further, we're going to basically go to zero. And I'm kind of with them. So here's a thing that I want to start out with. Those of you guys who think we're just going to crash, because you've been seeing all the videos I've been coming out with, we actually somehow ranked number one on Google and on YouTube the entire weekend for Bitcoin shorts explode, the keyword. And so we went over that and we talked about what if they... What if the Bitcoin short explosion leads to a drastic drop in crypto? Well, coins like ADA may actually be a safer place for your money than even Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I'll talk about that with, with you know, I'm not going to, let's just, can I just dive in right now? We're going to be all over the place. Let's just, let's just go here. So the crypto market cap for ADA, you guys know, has been declining like crazy. Follow me here with this statement. The lower the market cap, I do think there are some arguments to be made here that that coin may not fluctuate down as fast as others. The reason for that is because there's a lot less money in ADA right now than there was in the past. The market cap is going into Bitcoin. That's where it's going. Come over here to the charts, go to the menu, go on crypto charts and scroll down and go to BTC. You guys will see the overall market cap for Bitcoin is literally increasing this entire time on the drop. So money is flowing into Bitcoin and is moving out of other altcoins such as ADA. Okay, if the crash happens, depending on how low we go and we're gonna go over targets for that, you may actually see ADA become somewhat somewhat of a hedge against the crash because it's already so low and we may actually see people taking money out of bitcoin because the structure is so high and dumping it into altcoins because the structures are so low and that could actually push us into an altcoin rally okay i'm going to talk about more about this but i hope you guys are, are, are getting that let's continue here take a look at the trend dashboard here we're looking at majority of what retail traders are looking at most of their indicators are bearish so in this moment right now we could see a little bit of a drop back down but we're in this consolidation phase that's extremely tight when you get a tight consolidation phase like this this builds an immense amount of pressure and the moves out of here are not small it's either a very nice move up or a nice move down okay let's take this even further now let's open up the volume chart here Here's the thing with volume charts, guys. You can't use Coinbase because Coinbase only goes down to like, what is it, like 75 cents or something like that. So we actually have to come over here, go to ADA USD. We have to open up the Binance chart to actually get below what Coinbase does because Coinbase actually opened pretty high. And then you have to come over here and you have to go to the daily. All right. Now that we're over here, we can actually see all the structures below where we're currently at, basically about 78 cents, which is as low as it pretty much goes on Coinbase. So now that we're looking at this, let's open up this chart here and let's take a look at where the next support and resistances are. Right now, taking a look at this, this is what we call high volume nodes where a lot of transactions went through. And this is what we call low volume nodes. What you can sometimes use this as is actual support and resistance. So the next support guys, where is it? Can you see this with me? It is at 67 cents. Let me go 
open the iPad here real quick. 67 cents, write this down. 67 cents is the next support. After that, we've got another support down here at 54 cents. If you guys wanna write this down, feel free to do this. And then the next one after that is a huge support, which is actually the most volume that's ever gone through on ADA, and that is sitting right over here down at 30, about 36 cents, so 0 0.36, okay. These are the areas. Here's a reason why, if this was gonna drop, I feel like it might have done that already because we're sitting in this low volume node and it doesn't take much to get down here. So if we do see a crash on the Fed meeting on Tuesday, we will most likely get the next support bounce right around 67, 68 cents, correlated somewhat close to the structure low here. Okay, let's push this back here. I just wanna give you guys those targets as you write them down as we move into all this. Let's come back over here. Let's go to ADA. And again, those were 67 cents. 54 cents and 36 cents, okay? Let's take a look at the actual data over here um, when we jump to the metrics. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, let me, let me go over this real quick and I will jump over that. Let's take a look at these two indicators real quick. These are what we're using to call the tops and the bottoms of crypto. They've been doing very well. We've won 110 trades with them. So here's what I'm looking at. When trend exhaustion is pushed up in the top red section and well money flows high, I'm looking for a move back down. You guys are like, well, that doesn't look like a move down. It, it actually is. You got to make this thing really, really big. And you can actually see the correlation here of where it actually did move back down. Trend exhaustion pushing close to the top red section, well money flow high in this area. This is where we're looking for spikes and that move back down. Okay. Even over here, trend exhaustion low, well money flow low. This is actually where you guys can get back in the market and ride this back up. I'm not sure exactly who watched the last scalping video on ADA, but if you guys were able to get into this um, lower price structure down here when we hit the bottom, you guys were, we, again, we're looking for three to 4%. So you guys either got tagged out just at 4% or you definitely got your 3%. And, and you know, anybody who got in over here, you guys clearly made your three to 4% as well. So anybody scalping with our indicators, you guys did pretty well. Um, you know, a total about 6% there. So what we can use these indicators for is to say, all right, when we're in the top red section and well money flow is high, we have a higher chance of the market moving back down. We have trend exhaustion high, at least the well money flow moving up here. We're looking for the moves back down in the market. We also see it here, trend exhaustion, top red section, well money flow high. When these two sync up and they are both very high, it means it's basically like a double confirmation of what the technical term is called a, um, a correlation between two different indicators. When they're both lined up like that, we are looking for drops back down in the market. Okay. Alternatively, when they're both very low in the market, we're looking for the turnaround and we can see right around this area. We did try to see a little bit of pump up, but nothing lasts forever, guys. We pumped in the top section and then we start to see the move back down. So using this to go into the next few days here, what I'm expecting is if we start seeing trend exhaustion move down here on any type of drop going into Tuesday and Wednesday of this week with the Fed meeting, I would be looking for this to actually start bouncing back up when we get in these positions. And that could be a really good entry for you guys scalping the markets. Okay, and even an entry to get in with these indicators. Guys, these indicators are amazing. And seriously, I don't know if you guys watched the Bitcoin video, but my wife was like, you should run a sale because we've literally had our business for like exactly a year. And um, our dog's name is Finnegan. And it's like kind of goes along with the St. Patrick's Day theme. So we literally have 84% off all of our indicators right now. It's called a bundle pack. And we will never have this price lower than this again. It's the lowest you can ever get our indicators and they're in the description. And we, we hold the highest selling product on all of gumroad.com for education, trading, Bitcoin, um, Ethereum, as well as um, indicators. So I think you guys will like it. Okay, let's dive in over here. The emotional index is sitting still in this anxious phase. All right, this is what we're looking for. If this thing drops any further with price, this thing is easily gonna go down to the fearful section and it, retail traders are probably just gonna give up. That capitulation stage was back here. Like we're past capitulation now. People are like, they either build or, and they moved it to other coins, like we're seeing over here. They either bailed from it, or there's a few people hanging around like I am, where I'm waiting down here because we have our buy limits hit, and I'm waiting to get back in the profit. I know this is a long video, but I'm going to help you guys here. Your question is, well, do we just sell this thing and wait for it to go back up? Okay, if you sell right now and you've, you've used buy limits and you restructure your buy limits, which I'll show you guys here in a second with four buy limits here, you get into your first one. What happens if this thing skyrockets back up and you leave 75% of your money? Or let's say you use three buy limits and you leave 66% on the table. You guys are going to oh my gosh, you're gonna kick yourselves if you exit right now and this thing goes right back up. So I don't wanna be in that camp. I would rather hold this and if I get more money coming in, just continue to buy the dip with you know, you know, know, paychecks you guys get from your jobs or discretionary income. Buy the dip even further if you have extra money, but I'm holding my positions because I wanna earn on all my money in here versus restructuring and then only hitting one buy limit and then you don't make as much going back up. If you hit your first buy limit, it'll take four times the amount of time to make it back up. So take this amount and add this four times on top 
up. And that's where you guys have to make it back up is percentage wise, because you then have only one buy limit in instead of four. Okay. Hope that makes sense to the traders who've been trading with us. Take a look at long versus short trades over here, guys. Short trades are increasing over here and long trades are basically staying the same. Those people who went long, they're dedicated till the end. That's just the Cardano holders right there. But short trades are increasing during this time of consolidation. So people are taking shorts out thinking this thing's gonna drop. Now, again, let's go back to our targets I talked about, 67 cents and 54 cents. The greatest psychological support here is 50 cents. It's what's called a quarters theory level, 25 cents, 50 cents, 75 cents. So so a drop down to 50 cents is not unlikely, but I think we have this catch point about 67 cents and 54 before we even get there. Okay. Let's give you guys a little bit more data down here. Trades in favor. We're getting closer to good long trades than short trades. So again, this is a setup for a scalp. That's looking really good. Next time trend exhaustion is in the bottom red section. Well, money flow is moving down. At least that's where you guys are looking to get in the market and take that three to 4% move back up. Okay. Well, institutional smart money. From history, we can see that they are buying over here more so than selling. Okay, smart money loves to buy the dip. They buy the dip and then the price goes back up. And then when the price is up, they come out here and they short and then the market goes back down. And market's going down, they're accumulating and they make their money back up. Market goes up, they take out shorts, they drop the market down. Market's down, they come out with longs, the market goes up. Market goes up, they come out with shorts, the market goes down. Market goes down, they come out with longs. They didn't get their way fully this time, but it went up a little bit. Market goes up, they come out with shorts, the market goes down. Okay, you guys can see this time and time again. Market is going down, they're coming out with longs. This is why I think we could see an actual pump up here. There's no guarantee, guys, the Fed meeting is gonna come out and it's all gonna be bearish. It may come out and actually be somewhat neutral. If it's neutral or if there's any slight chance that it's actually somewhat bullish, guys, you could see a trapping of short trades on Bitcoin and this market could explode. So I just had um, Jake, one of the guys that works with us, he's like, I, he, he, one of our, someone wrote into us over email and he said, I saw this YouTuber who literally liquidated his entire crypto portfolio, his entire portfolio. My personal thought, not smart at all. You are then not exposing yourself to risk or reward. A full portfolio that is liquidated right now, 150,000 is break even, we're at 120,000. We're doing great over here, okay? A, a portfolio that is completely liquidated has no advantage of taking advantage of the pumps. You're out. So if you guys actually see a short squeeze happen and this market shoots up, you are gonna have one heck of a hard day taking it on of being like, oh my gosh, I don't have anything in the market and I let everything go away. But you need to understand if you have money in the market and you keep it there, we need to be okay with the market going down. And I am okay with this. We still have, and everybody do this. Everybody do a cash check. Let me refresh this. I might have to log in on another video tomorrow to show this to you guys because um, it may require some authentication. But let's see here uh, if we're sitting down, probably a little bit less than 120,000 actually right now. But let's take a look. 117,270. I currently have $25,000 in cash over here waiting to buy the dip, which is roughly about 25% of our portfolio, or right around there, okay? So 21%, it literally says it right here. So about 21, 22% is in cash. Do you have enough cash in your portfolio to experience a dip? And I showed you guys on the Ethereum video, Ethereum could easily dip 20% from where it's at, 20%, okay? So do you have enough cash to buy buy limits and buy lower entries into crypto? If you have nothing left, you may wanna sell a little bit and try to buy some lower buy limits, okay? Resistance is at 86 cents, and then we're looking to support at 77. So, you know, if we start moving back up, the next resistance is at 105. I would rather look at this dollar up here because that's the one that everyone's looking at. It's between 50 cents and a dollar, guys. That's the race that we're looking for here. Dollar cost average entries, incredible entry you guys got here. Okay, someday ADA is gonna turn around. It's either crypto disappears or ADA turns around and goes back to a dollar, two dollars, and three dollars. I am in the camp that says crypto's here to stay, and we think this is going to keep going back up. So we're not nervous whatsoever. We are not nervous. We're just holding our positions and we're waiting for it to go back up. Think of the tens of thousands of dollars, some of you guys, the hundreds of thousands of dollars you're going to make when we get back up into the profit here. It's insane. That is where our risk management strategy shines. While everybody else is trying to wait to get back into their profits when they're 70 plus percent down and we're only 50, that 20% difference, we're all going to take profits during that moment. We're all, and everyone else is going to still be down. That equates to tens of thousands of dollars in my personal case. Maybe you guys, that's hundreds of th thousands or maybe hundreds of thousands. This is where we really start shining, okay? 
exit point. We're looking for this mark to head back up, and when it does, we will see a red bar, and then we're gonna be looking for that drop. So guys, let me get you guys into a trade setup for ADA, because I really do think this is a good setup here. Uh, I know I didn't do this already, but let me do this right now, and then I'll actually show you guys the indicator cell we've got going on, so don't miss that. Um, here's our membership, guys. Everything's just, we keep everything open. We're not trying to like hide anything here. $95 a month, get access to all the metric suites for all of these coins. All of these coins, you guys see the metrics you saw for that entries into all of our trades that I take every single trade, all of our 110 wins, I call out when I'm entering into those, as well as all of the in, the exits that we do. So if you guys literally want to copy us, we have the highest win rate on all of YouTube, get a membership, copy us, and we're also going to be going live next month on Zoom as a family doing an open Q&A session. We have the one recorded and already posted that we did in March, which is a really good one. You guys come over here and go under the inner circle hangout scroll all the way down here and you guys can look at this i think i know this is like solar station i think this cat is just hilarious so i had to put this crack with this crack this cat was cracking me up and so um anyways <laughs> watch that there's a lot of good stuff you guys can learn in there okay um coming over to how you actually trade this strategy come to bitcoin and scroll all the way down you're going to go down on on ada so make sure you go to cardano but here's how we trade this because ada is so low you guys don't need to use four buy limits. This is in the masterclass called the equator. You literally take the top and the bottom, the all-time high and the bottom of a currency. You look at the middle point. If you have price structure below the middle point of the high and the low, think of the north and the south pole. If you're right in the middle and you're below the equator, you can use three buy limits. Why? Because it's better to get more money into this trade here because it's so low versus putting four buy limits, use three so you can get more money in the market. Again, not financial advice, but this is how we trade this and we've won all these trades so far, okay? Choose the amount you want to enter in with. Let's say it's a thousand bucks. Split the thousand dollars into four equal portions. So say two hundred fifty dollars. I'm showing you guys Bitcoin for an example. Place the two hundred fifty dollars at each of the four, and then set a sell limit in green. Once you have your first buy limit hit, this is in case the market just shoots up here. So ADA is going to look like this, like that. And then you guys want your first buy limit is hit. You guys are going to set a sell limit up here. The buy limit's very close to here. So you guys will probably hit this. You know, probably either today or tomorrow if we see any type of drop. This will allow you guys to get money into the market, but have extremely good risk management if the market heads back down. I'm serious. If you guys have been following me for a while and you guys were on the, the, the Q&A session, if you guys have like an extra $1,000 or 100 bucks you want to throw into ADA and use those three buy limits, it's not a bad idea to get in here, guys, seriously, because this trade here, if you do the calculations, will actually help bring down your overall um, break-even entry if you guys got into the trade. Like I am literally in this trade with you guys right now. So... I got to talk to the wife here, but if we're going to put more money in, but at the moment, I'm just holding where we're at. Okay, let's wrap this video up because I know it's already long. To get into the Telegram channel, just click down here or click it on the top menu, and that's where we're calling exits with all the indicators. So I'll show this to you guys real quick. Go up here, and you guys click the Telegram channel right there, and then let me show you guys the indicators real quick. So a little St. Patrick's sale we got going on. Enter coupon code MARCH for our bundle pack once you click this, and we have 84% off. Again, this is the lowest you will ever be able to get our indicators for. You guys will never see the price lower than this. So if you've ever seen our videos or you're brand new, we literally use these indicators on every single exit call we make for all of our coins. You're going to see that up here. We're going to do analysis of when the trend exhaustion is high, when the well money flow is high, we're looking for drops. And I've shown this to you guys in this video of how that's held accurate. Watch the other ones if you guys would like. But literally, it, this is the best time to get this. Um, the bundle pack includes all nine of these. So it's not just the three that you need right here. If you want to get these, use coupon code Save Money at checkout. But seriously, this bundle pack is the highest selling and the best selling product on all of Gumroad for education, trading, crypto, and indicators. So we're very blessed about that. Um, we've helped a ton of people, and and I think our testimonials prove that. If you guys want to, you know, geek out and look at the testimonials, it, it's pretty crazy. So we're excited about that. So we want to extend this to you guys. And plus, it's a bear market. Let me just help you guys out just a little bit more with that discount. Snag them, and then as we move back up, you guys will clearly make all the money up, um, like pretty easily. We do not overcharge that much at all for indicators. It's this is the lowest bundle pack you'll ever buy online for this quality. I guarantee you that. And I've actually coded indicators for a living for TradingView.com customers, like TradingView. Um, and we've even had the COO and the CMO actually come out and like reach out to me and try to purchase indicators in the past that I've coded. I said, look, that's awesome. I want to keep it for our members only. So you guys will be able to take advantage of this one time purchase lifetime access. You also get the source code to these so nobody can take them away from you. And, um, it's just a blast. So that's in the description. So you guys can snag that ADA guys. My final thoughts before we wrap up this video is I am holding ADA. 
I am holding, I'm holding, I'm holding. If I were to say, what, Travis, what's the other thing that you're doing? I'm going to say, if, if I'm doing anything else, guys, I'm talking to my wife and we're going to look to see if we can put more money in here because all of us get paid every two to three weeks or, or every month, right? All of us do, unless you're retired. Are you not getting more money? I don't care if it's $10 you want to put back into crypto. Can you at least get something in here to put another trade in? That's what I honestly, yes, we could, we can do that, but I got to get approval from the wife. So let me talk to her and I'll, I'll update you guys in telegram if we enter more money in, but I'm actually sitting here waiting to see what's going to happen on the fed meeting Tuesday and Wednesday to see if this goes up or down. So it's a tug of war, the metrics overall, like I, this is looking bearish. Long for short trades are looking bearish. Market cap, honestly, looking a little bearish. Trades in favor, um, looking actually, honestly, bullish here. Well, institutional smart money, looking bullish. So we've got kind of a tug of war right now. And it's like, well, why are they opposite? It's just, it's just what it is. That's why you get consolidation periods because people aren't, we don't have enough signals to say, oh, this is clearly a bottom or clearly a top. It is split. So what you guys need to be watching for, I'm sorry this video is so long, but if long trades at all increase over the next few days with short trades, that's very bullish and we're probably going to see a move back up, okay? If market cap increases at all here and price stays the same, very, very bullish sign that you guys need to be watching for because that means money's flowing into ADA while money's flowing possibly out of Bitcoin because they're expecting a Bitcoin drop and more money to come into ADA to hedge their bets on Bitcoin and that could lead to an altcoin pump and an altcoin season here. If we see Bitcoin drop and we start seeing money come into the alts because they're already so low, people look at this as a floor and a support versus Bitcoin that can head down a lot further. These things are going to disappear for altcoins if it goes down any further. So we may see a huge influx of money. And that's where I think you guys should be having your money is in these altcoins. All right, guys, long enough video. God bless you so much, guys. Have an amazing day. The indicators are in the description, 84% off. Snag those. We'll never have them lower again as well as make sure you guys get the membership over here to access the metrics, all the master classes come hang out with us, watch the videos. Like literally guys, all these videos for crypto, I'm, I'm posting them here as well as you guys can actually come over here and get into the um, uh, master classes and watch all this stuff. This is stuff I've taught hedge funds, um, hundreds of millions, billion dollars worth of hedge funds. You guys can watch all these little secrets that I have in crypto. And I am going to be recording um, a master class on indicators soon. So you guys get all that. That's in the description. All right, guys, God bless you. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.